Hi, I'm Steve Wilson, psychologist and president of the World Laughter Tour. Uh, here's another quick lesson in superhumor power. Let's take a look at the unintended humor of reality. According to the famous comedian Steve Allen, there's nothing funnier. Our next door neighbor told us about a time that her daughter Amy came home from second grade, very excited because they were learning how to write stories. And Amy said, Mommy, I wrote a story. Would you like to hear my story? And of course, her mom said yes. And Amy took the paper out of her backpack and started reading very intently. The first sentence, this is a story about twin girls, age five and nine. Her mom said she had to restrain herself from laughing right out loud so that Amy's feelings wouldn't be hurt. Amy might not understand that, that we get it, that a child could make a mistake like that, but... Uh, we want to protect her feelings anyway, so we don't laugh out loud right in her face. As cute as it was, uh, we would still have to take that into consideration. Humor often depends on things not going the way we planned, not going the way we expected them to go. One of the 79 strategies uh, for becoming super humor powered is to appreciate the unintended humor uh, that arises from human imperfection and from the unexpected. After all, the nature of imperfection is uh, that it is our nature. In fact, our mental health depends on us being on good terms with our imperfection. Don't be too hard on yourself for being imperfect. Nobody is perfect. And because we aren't perfect, we always uh, carry with us the potential for making a mistake, and a mistake could be funny if we know how to look at it. If we use our comic vision we can accept our imperfection with humor and not get stressed out over it. By the way, has it occurred to you that comic vision might be something close to cosmic vision? Seeing the big picture? Get it? I like that idea. Books and television shows that emphasize bloopers give us a chance to accept our uh, imperfection. And for that from that perspective, even our fallibility leads to good-natured humor. That's why it's best to cultivate two humor habits that I think go together. The habit of looking for unintended humor and forgiving our imperfection. Here are a few of my favorite examples of the unintended humor of reality. Uh, this, these are from uh, two from headlines. Imagine going in the newspaper and seeing this headline. Include your children when baking cookies. Uh, I don't know. Is that a Hansel and Gretel uh, uh, type of recipe? I, I just I, I found that's kind of funny. And uh, this one, on a more serious note, local high school dropouts cut in half. Uh, that seems rather drastic to me, but maybe it works. Anyway, it certainly seemed kind of funny to me. What about in church? Uh, a house of worship, a place where we're told uh, we need to be serious. Uh, yet, even in a church bulletin, Something could be written uh, that, because we're imperfect, turns out to be uh, humorous. Uh, here's an example of that. Imagine seeing this notice in church. For those of you who have children and don't know it, we have a nursery downstairs. Yes, go down and check. You might have a kid down there. What about in the medical field? Uh, transcriptions of patient notes sometimes uh, carry a mistake with them, and the mistake turns out to be humorous. Hopefully uh, with no bad outcomes because of that. Uh, imagine this one. This actually comes from a medical record. She has no rigors or chills, but her husband says she was very hot in bed last night. Uh, that sounds like a little bit too much information, but maybe the medical people uh, can use that. Uh, what about the way uh, students answer quest test questions? And when you're in school and you're taking a test, uh, what about the teacher who's grading the paper and comes across this answer? The inhabitants of Moscow are called mosquitoes. Okay, the kid might not get much credit for that answer, but the teacher gets a laugh in the process of grading the papers. Make it a habit to look for and appreciate unintended humor and to forgive your imperfection. Depending on where you are when you come across unintended humor, you might be able to laugh out loud, but it might be better or wiser to just have a little inner chuckle about it. What about the person who hangs a sign like this one I'm about to show you over his or her desk? 
it says, I never make mistakes. Did you catch that the word mistake is misspelled? Well, a person who could put that sign up is actually showing that they are humor powered and they're probably going to be a very good coworker. Maybe it's you. You be a good coworker. Lighten up about the mistakes, get through them, keep being productive, and have harmony at work. I hope you will. As always, I'm yours in love and laughter. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha